full disclosure, this isn't even a real desk. It used to be my dining table. But at some point, the ergonomics have to make way for the incredible amount of space that your art supplies will need. Thank you so much for joining me in today's desk I hope you are well and can find some inspiration from the art supplies I always have handy, I use all the time, and the art supplies I have just next to my desk. Let's go! The most important thing is right on my desk. It is from Ikea and it has four drawers as well as another bottom shelf. On the right side there are my watercolors, my Schwinke watercolors, my mom gifted them to me and I really like having them handy. I can simply reach to my right, I open up this wooden watercolor box and I have them ready to go. This is also the reason why I always have a cup of water on my desk. I just want to be ready to go whenever I have the urge to paint with watercolors. Next up we have two of four calligraphy sets I own. They were gifted to me by my aunt and uncle and these two are my favorite sets which is why I have them just in my top shelf. Next to it are my free embossing powders. I only own these three colors and I emboss a lot. I just embossed my sketchbook and I'm planning to do some more embossing next month so I have them handy as well. Next to it is my Fine Tech palette. I assorted these colors myself. You can do that on the home page. There is a metal box available as well as this acrylic box. And I chose to use the acrylic box because the probability of me using my art supplies is higher when I see them. My husband gifted these to me last year for my birthday, but I was of course pretty involved in the process of choosing the colors. And when I couldn't decide, he simply said, Said, uh, doesn't matter we'll just get this one extra and this tiny thing is a free sample they sent with the color assortment in the second drawer on the left side I have a sticky note pad I use this for my content calendar for example as well as idea slips I paste in my love of my life art journal which is especially for this YouTube channel I am still starting out, I would say, and I would be so very happy if you would subscribe and be my 18th or 19th subscriber. This is what I use this for. Then we have ink as well as this water dispenser right next to it, which is not very clever when I come to think about it, are some of my electronics. I probably should keep these apart. There are some SD cards as well as my very important adapter for my mini SD card, which I use for all of my videos. Yeah, I should put the water somewhere else. Some USB sticks and I have these copper clamps, which I use to hold my sketchbooks open whenever I paint in them. Next up, there are all things sticky. There is some glue as well as my Tumbo Mono adhesive strong tape. There is a correction tool, scotch tape, and a random graphite stick. It is the same concept as with all of my art supplies. I keep it in sight in order to maybe use it. Some cord, which I sometimes need for either decoration or having things in place. Before I had this very handy camera holder, which you will see in a second, I used the cord to tie my tripod in place so that I could do overhead shots. I tied it to my window. Those days are gone because I have this very handy equipment now. Anyways, there are also three little pallets and one of two water containers, which are foldable and therefore are able to sit in this drawer. The other one, as I said, is filled on my desk with water. Next up, we have all things cutting. You guys know I tried some paper art in the past and want to do that in the future as well. And these are the scalpels I use for that. There is a large X-Acto knife and a smaller handheld scalpel. My newest addition is this art knife, which is very handy as well. A pair of tiny scissors and a pair of regular scissors. There is a larger circle stencil that my husband 3D printed for me. And there is the smaller circle stencil. I actually found it in my grandma's sewing kit. I went through my grandma's old sewing kit and found some very useful things in there. 
the little handheld scalpel also has these interchangeable knives and setups that you can use for different purposes. In there is also my pencil sharpener and an ink pad. Oh, and of course my three favorite stones that my sister sent to me. Now in the bottom drawer, mom, if you're watching my video, you should only watch this after Mother's Day or you can skip the next 60 seconds. In the bottom is always the project I'm working on currently, if it fits in there, of course. At the moment, I'm working on my Mother's Day card. This video will come out one day before Mother's Day. So um, yeah, I really need to get going. <laughs> I have the concept of a pop-up card and I have these greeting cards and a tiny box that I could also use for the pop-up motif. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna use the greeting card or the box. And always in there next to my current project are my rulers and triangle rulers. The very last thing in there is my external hard drive. And this is a reminder to all of you out there, save your data on a regular basis. You might want to do it after this video. It's um, really important. Not that I do it anywhere near often enough. Next to it, we have my most used brushes and palette knives. I really only have three watercolor brushes. They are from Da Vinci Casaneo and they have the sizes two, four and six. I also have this tiny, tiny detail brush I am not very impressed with it. I believe it is not meant for watercolor and I simply was misinformed when I bought it, but it is still um, helpful for tiny details. This round brush, my newest edition of brushes, is used for watercolor washes. And these are the acrylic brushes. I actually only use these two. Then I have palette knives. I have more of these in other places in the other room but they are simply a reminder. Sometimes I will see this palette knife and I'll be thinking, you know what, I, I really could, could do some impasto today. I think I'm done gonna do that. And I will go and grab all of my other palette knives. So these are inspiration as well as the most useful and most used tools I have. Then there is a fountain pen, which seems to be always empty, always. And some special markers, gold and white markers, a silver marker, a CD marker, and two of my free brush sign pens from Pantel. And also my quickie glue pen, which I love. It is very handy, especially for embossing. Here we have some erasers, some hand lotion, and whenever I get angry with my hair because it keeps falling in my face, there are some hair ties as well as clips. Now for the desk itself. I mentioned I have a new tool for overhead footage shooting and it is this one. I tried to not buy anything off of Amazon but it was unfortunately the only place where I was able to get this and it is very handy. I'm glad I bought it. Also I have this lamp that I use for example in the morning when I do my journaling and it's still dark outside. I need a highlight spot so I can see what I'm doing. On the left side there is my computer or my computer screen and because there is always a dead space in the corner I place my gouache there. My gouache, some more glue as well as these tiny cotton pieces. There is a radio also. I like to listen, listen to the radio in the morning and I can use it as a Bluetooth box if I want to. Last but not least, on my desk, I always have this. It's not a pencil case, but I call it a pencil case. This was from some flight over 10 years ago where they were still giving out free things. Can you imagine? They don't do that anymore. So anyways, in there is my most used sketchbook equipment. I can go in depth in another video if you want me to, but for now I'll just brush over it quickly. Ha, <laughs> brush over it. My three most used fineliners are Unipen fineliner in 0.5 and in a brush tip. And I also have this Faber-Castell Echo Pigment in 0.4. This one my sister gave me in a set. I have lots of art equipment that I was gifted to by people who asked me what I wanted for my birthday or for Christmas. And for the last two years, I almost always 
set up some kind of art supply. So I have a large art supply collection. Moving on, I am also oftentimes using my Ink Chance pencils. I have the full set which I will show you in a moment and I like to switch up the colors in my pencil case every now and then so that it's not always the same. We have an assortment of pencils and my white Uniposca 0.7 millimeters acrylic pen. Last but not least in there are some Stabilo fine liners and those I mostly use for writing in my journals. That is all for what is on my desk. I'm going to show you what is on the left side of my desk in a small shelf. First off, the Ink Tens complete set, which I talked about. These Ink Tens pencils have such a special feel to them and are not comparable with watercolor pencils at all, in my opinion. I love painting with them and this is where I store those. And this I was gifted to you by my father. It is the Caran d'Ache watercolor pencil super color full set. It is uh, enormous and I love it. Finally, on the left side, we have my paper collection. There is black paper, watercolor paper, toned paper for drawing, a paper palette. There are colored papers transferring paper and these are the ones I use the most and therefore have handy because if I want to do paper art but I know I have to get to the other room get all of the supplies I need and bring them back here and then decide on the colors I know I'm not gonna do it so I have them handy over there now to the right side we have my guillotine this is a pretty new investment I did I love it there is a cutting mat underneath and there is another cutting mat for my silhouette. Over here we have my heat gun, which you need for embossing or drying watercolor paintings when you are too impatient to wait. Usually my acrylic paints from uh, Liquitex are stored here, but currently I gave them to a friend who wanted to try some acrylic art and I only have the swatches. Finally, this is the last thing I have in my immediate surroundings and will need when I work on my desk. This is another container with drawers from Ikea. There is my washi tape in the first tiny drawer, as well as the little prints books I created. Then we have my fine liner collection. And in here are stamps and ink pads. I don't use them as often. I rather use my brush pens, which are in the drawer below for, for example, calligraphy instead of using the lettered stamps. This brush pen collection was the second large art supply thing I got right after my watercolors. It all started with the watercolors I showed you at the very beginning, which my mom gifted to me. And I loved painting with them so much that I continued with these brush pens. And I kept going and kept going and kept trying new mediums and had so much fun. On the left side there are these Posca pens. I researched which colors I wanted and which sizes I needed and this is what I came up with. Finally, in the last drawer, there are electronic things and cables. For example, for my camera, I do have two spare batteries because it keeps breaking on me. I do not recommend my camera. And then we have lots and lots and lots of plants. One thing I almost forgot is my microphone as well as my headphones. I like that I can attach it to my table and simply pull it over when I need it. Isn't that just the handiest thing? The very newest addition to my studio setup are these two LED lights from me, me, we, me. They are first and foremost for me because I love a bright flat. It is dark outside and without these I wouldn't be able to draw or 
film videos at all. Secondly, it is for filming videos. Anyways, this was my desk tour and I hope you feel inspired and had fun. I am still relatively new to YouTube and I would appreciate your support so very much um, by either a like or this video or maybe even a subscription if you want to see me in my next video. I can't wait to see you then and hope you have a good time. Until then, bye!